the universe, we can see the universe out 13.7 billion years into the past. And when we do that measurement, we're, of course, the further away we look, the further back in the past we see. When we make the measurement, uh, as far as we can now, which is uh, we can look back 13.7 billion years to when the universe was 380,000 years old. And when we make that, uh, when we look at the universe on that size, we can see that the universe's shape is that what we say is it's flat. It does, the universe does not curve onto itself or away from itself. And we can tell that it is flat, that it has no curvature, um, to about a half a percent. So that's like saying that if I had a circle, and I'm going to draw a little picture here, if I have a circle, and imagine the universe is curved and finite, okay, mm -hmm. that our little part of it is that little tiny bit right on the top is only a half a percent of the circle. Mm -hmm. So what we are measuring is that is if the universe is well behaved, which it seems to be, it is at least uh, two, 200 times bigger than what we see. Of course, it could be infinitely bigger than we see. We can only measure what we measure. Now, if the universe is infinite, it's infinite. It goes on forever, and it means it was created as an infinite universe. That is, the time of the Big Bang, the universe was infinite, and it is obviously still infinite today, and infinity is expanding into infinity. Of course, it could be that the universe really is finite, and that we're just, you know, seeing the tip of the iceberg and the universe curves onto itself. Uh, but it is very difficult um, to uh, go out and measure that because, as I said, as best as we can measure, the universe seems to uh, not have any shape that we can see. So I think as long as you're comfortable with infinity, you know, uh, is that ill-defined? No, infinity is infinity. And it's just the way the universe was constructed. It was constructed as being infinite. Uh, a finite universe, understanding how a finite universe can expand, well, that requires resorting to a fourth dimension. And fourth dimensions are very good and easy to describe mathematically, but they're very difficult to visualize. And I often say in my talks that I've never met a sane person who can visualize four dimensions and that you don't want to be one of the people who can visualize four dimensions. And, and I mean that. We can numerically describe how the universe is expanding. I like to say that the universe, if it is finite, is expanding into the future because that fourth dimension is related to time. And so you really end up just being where, you know, in the future, you're where something else was in the past. And uh, I'm afraid I can't make it any simpler than that because it's not very simple. <laughs>